what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Can't hop out the What's up y'all, it's your girl Brianna Imani And you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview And today we have a very special guest in the building Let them know who's here You know what's going on, it's Deani Doyle, your favorite lady <laughs> Period. Yes, Diani. So first, we're going to get it started with a quick round of rapid fire questions. I'm going to ask you some questions. Give me the first thing that comes to mind. All right. Uh-huh. Rachel week from one to 10 so far. 10. Zodiac sign. Scorpio. Go to deli order. Blazing buffalo chicken sandwich. Three slices of meat. Swiss cheese, lettuce, mayo, vinegar, pepper, extra toasty bread. Period. We're so specific with our deli orders and I really love yes, that for us. Like Favorite that. song right now. Favorite lady. Favorite song right now that's not yours? <laughs> Sully Paper. <laughs> oh, period. Five star. Okay. Um, outfit staple. Who? Like something you need to have as a part of your outfit. Oh, fishnets, but they're not on today. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, celebrity crush? None. None? Mm-mm. Okay, we keeping it real cute, real classy. Um, name three cereals. Honey bunches of oats, cinnamon toast, crunch, cocoa pebbles. <laughs> Are those your favorites or the first that came to mind? Yeah, honey bunches of oats, my favorite. Wow, that's such an underrated cereal. Nobody know, really be right? putting that in their top it's three. So good. Um, finish the lyric. My ex trying to fuck, but I'm off that. He wanna fuck, but I'm off that. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad you clarified that. I'm not gonna lie, I thought you've been saying I'm off that day. And I'm like, so you don't stand on business. I really thought you was trying to say my ex trying to fuck, but I'm off that. My ex tried to fight, but I'm off that day. Like, hit me up later, and I might, like, spend a block that day. Oh, I'm off that day? I like, thought you said of I'm work? off that day, yeah. Like, off of work? Yeah. My ex like, tried to fuck, but I'm off that. I'm off that day? Like, I'm off that day, but if you catch me tomorrow, it might be a possibility. Oh, okay. That's always what I thought that you were saying. you like that song? And you no, thought, and you, I literally was going to say, so, so you don't you be standing on business. You hate no, the song. No, I love the song. Oh. I feel like you could like a song, but disagree with, like, a line. Yeah, like, oh, nah, like no, all right. I'm off that, yeah. Yeah, when you say I'm off that day, I skip that part, but, you know, we keep going with the next line. Caroline, Caroline. Off that uh. <laughs> off that uh. Mm-hmm. Okay, period. I agree with that a lot more. Um, a song people would be surprised that you know all the words to. Um, the sun comes up, the stars come down. The universe will never be the same. Yes. I'm glad you came. I'm, I'm glad, glad you came. Oh, that is glad you came. I'm glad I'm here. Period. Yes, that, um, mm. Favorite comfort TV show? Oh, I'm going to just say Spongebob. Okay. I love SpongeBob. Um, first three things you do in the morning. Brush my teeth, roll a spliff, listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. Okay, very good. Um, if you could be a character on any TV show, who would it be? Kim Possible. Okay, very good. <laughs> I, I like her. Like her body is fire, her fits is fire. She's beautiful. Gangster. Shout out to Kim Possible. Mm-hmm. Green hands. Um, and one word to describe 2024. Amazing, God did. God did. God did. God really did. Okay, and that ends our rapid fire. But God really did, girl. You really doing your thing. You really got one. Thank you. You got a summer song too. I feel like that's the best time for you to have a song that's Mm -hmm. really like popping when people could play it top down, right? So how has it been? How has it been like having a song that's really going up? It's been crazy. Every day is another day, like another day, another dollar. You know, Mm -hmm. just gotta keep grinding. No sleep. For sure, mm-hmm. but it's just blessings on blessings. It's just gotta for me, just working, working. Did you know that this was gonna be it? Like, did you know that you had one when you got out the studio and you heard it back? Like, yeah, I knew it was fire. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was gonna be like crazy, but okay. When I did the on the radar, then then I knew. Yeah, yeah. The on the radar was fire. Yeah, it went crazy. The Drewski freestyle was fire too. Ooh, thank by you. By the way, yeah. Thank um, you. Um, so at what point did you feel like? Or what was it that had you like, okay, maybe this is there's something in this song? Because you said you didn't know right away, but like, what was it? The comments, the feedback? I don't know. It was everything. It happened so fast. It, it, it didn't even take like a... <laughs> so it was like every day, it was just... I felt like it was the feedback. Like I was getting on Instagram mm-hmm. and like outside, like for me, like New York City was just showing me a different type of like... Okay, yeah, so. so who was the first person that heard the song outside of the people that was in the studio with you? Like artist-wise or like... like in general. Probably like my, my manager and shit. Like my team that wasn't there because like <laughs> okay. niggas ain't getting my own release. <laughs> okay. So it was, it was, it was, it was and it was family, like... Friend, somebody, yeah, yeah. And everybody liked it. 
Yeah, everybody was jacking OD. How do you feel like when people give you feedback, do you have people that are honest with you? Like, okay, I really like it, but maybe this part could switch yeah, up. Yeah, or... I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't really be playing my my music like that OD to people. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really, yeah, because I don't really be around people like that unless it's my twin sister. Okay. But she would tell me, like, if it's fire, she would tell me, like, I like this song better than this song. Blah, blah, blah. I never got. I never got it. This song, your song's trash. I don't feel like I got no trash. That's songs, right. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, twin. But I got the. This is better than than this song. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So was Cash in the studio with you when you was recording, or did he send a beat over? He sent the beat over. So how did that happen? Like, how did you? How did you um, decide to hop on the Cash? Um, beat? he knew my I'm slow. Okay. So, yeah, so shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a part of my label, and yeah, slow. He told slow he was gonna send a beat over, and then he did, and then I found a beat. And, and then you I bodied beat it. that beat. You uh, beat that beat down. <laughs> down. Respectfully, RKO. Yeah, his favorite lady is definitely one of the songs in New York. It's been on, um, what's that, like, New York Essentials playlist on Apple Music? Yeah, it's been there for fire, like, week, after finds, week after yeah. week after week after week. Um, So not only was you on a cash beat, but then Nav hopped on the song, too. You mad funny. But then Nav, you got the voice Nav. on point. But then Nav. <laughs> He did, and I have been a Nav fan for so long, <laughs> and like I, he has, he don't really just be hopping on anybody's song, so right. that was like a really big deal. How did that happen? Shout out to Nav. Shout out he, to Nav. He heard the song before, obviously before it came out. He mm-hmm. was like, he heard it, and um, because we have mutual like peoples, and he was just like, he fell in love with the song OT. He was like, yo, I want to get on it, like I definitely want to get on that. Yeah. And then he was like with it to like be like you know primary on the song on his Apple Music on everything on all his DSPs, and like I was just like, shit, God did like, yeah, that's fire. I was just like, damn. He FaceTime. Remember when he FaceTime me and he did the song. And he played me the verse. And he was like, you fucking with it? And I'm like, what? You asking me? Yeah, do I? You cr- <laughs> yes. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's so dope. So, all right. So, Nav, you had him. You spoke to him. Who else have you, like, been speaking to in the industry? Like, whether it's by way of just, like, a nice little link up. Because we see you with Fab, yeah. A Boogie, Lil Baby. Um, Who, like, who you be, like, talking to? Not like that, but just, like, but conversationally. Like, I feel like every I feel like everybody now. Okay. Like I could just name man names, but it makes no sense. Do you New feel York like city like we're Okay, I was just about to ask you, do you feel like it's more people from in or out of the city? In. More people in? Mm-hmm. So like who in the city are you listening to right now? Like this Lizzie's Paris yeah. Cobain and them like Is they taking over the it's city? It's my for type real. of music. It's yeah. Like, I, I always loved melodic music. You see the the song I sang when you asked me people song you feel me absolutely so i just like singing melodies all that so it's like mm-hmm. for me and i like people who do melodic like for me right whoever's on that melodic shit right now i'm listening to them so were you like into the drill music when See? it was yeah yeah i was i was just because i was rap that's how i started doing music was rapping right, right. but sometimes so. you know there were people that were like doing it because it was hot and not necessarily because they actually were into it oh yeah so nah. like were you doing it because you're actually nah, into it i was never it, dis- i was never I don't, I don't know what like drill music is it's just it was just beats like i'm not mm-hmm. wasn't a drill rapper i wasn't even talking like od spinning blocks not nah, bl- my block nothing i was mm-hmm. saying exactly a fact if you run up you will get done up and that is <laughs> and a that's fact on period. that's not drill talking you know? uh-huh. <laughs> That's just that. I was just on those beats. Those beats is fire. Right. Gangsta. So how do you feel about the transition now? Because drill was like the main sound in New York for so long. And now it's transitioning into the subgenre of right. sexy drill. I feel like I love that because it makes it easier for me because I've been on some pop shit like while I was doing drill. Like, mm. So it been in the pocket. I was just waiting to come out and I didn't know when it was the right time. Yeah. And this just made it so much easier because it's right in that pocket. Like yeah. right after I finished this, I could just show them. Everything else that I that I have mm-hmm. that's, that's singing and shit. And you're versatile too because like you don't only hop on like the melodic. You had like a little jersey. I think it was called like Get Down. What is it called Get Down? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. What, okay. Yeah. Well, you had that. I think it was called. Get, I wait. Hold on. Actually, why am I acting like Get I don't down? take notes? I definitely wrote it. Um, Somebody didn't do their research. No, I definitely did. It's one of your only features. You don't really have that many features. I don't really have that much songs. I'm going to come back to it when I have it pulled up. But you did that. And um, you have another song 
Dior is Dior something, and it's over the, the Eminem beat. Dior. You don't even know what I'm talking about. It's so it's an Eminem sample. You talking about Dior song? Fuck all that Gucci shit, bitches. Dior song. Oh, mm. if you're not even talking about that, and you talking about an Eminem beat, and it's like, yes, it's are you Eminem even talking sample. about me, girl? Yes, I'm talking about you. I know who I'm talking to. Yeah, I wrote it down. So when I get to it, right. and I randomly be like, oh shit, it's blah blah blah. blah. Right. That's what I'm talking right, about. We get to it. So um, I know we talking about like. Who you cool with in New York? But is there anybody that you're currently working with? I know you got some stuff coming up. Anybody that we can know that you're working with right now? Like artist wise mm-hmm. or producer wise or what? Oh, actually both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with mad artists right now because I'm dropping the tape. Yeah. So right now I am like, you feel me? Just tapping in with everybody. Everybody's just thankfully. Wanted to get on the tape, so I'm like collabing with the whole New York right now. So I'm saying like, it's I just crazy. love that, and like the producers too, like my producers too. Like I'm just, I'm just gonna let people yeah. see. Yeah, I think that's a good thing too about Sexy Drill being like the sound in New York because I feel like when Drill was it, everybody was like so caught up in politics that people weren't really collabing the way that they could have. But now it's like everybody willing to work I feel like together, it's bringing more peace to yeah. New York. Like. Now people want to just like not beef no more. Let's mm-hmm. work. Um, so, you know, when you started blowing up, do you like feel like there was anything you had to adjust to as you started getting more attention, or did you always have like attention? Nah, yeah, I feel like I always had attention. Mm-hmm. I just was the smallest puppy in the room, but okay. like I was always like, yeah, nah, I was always like the pic- mad pictures when I walk in. It, it was, it's the same, it's the same, it's just. Mm-hmm. It's more crazier now, but it's kind of like the same. Were you like social media famous? Like, you know, back then we had Facebook fame and the meetups and the teams and the yeah. day parties and all of that. Were y'all doing that out there? I don't know if that's just a Brooklyn thing. Nah, I had my era. I was Facebook famous for being like funny though. Mm-hmm. Like, I was always doing like funny videos. I always been mad like funny. Mm-hmm. So I used to do dumb shit like put pillows in my butt and do like funny twerking dumb videos and <laughs> go in stores and knock shit down. Like, just do shit uh-huh. and go viral. I used to dance on live. When live first came out on Facebook, I was so viral because when, when it first came out, it came out not Facebook. everybody could get it. Like, yeah. it took a while for everybody's Facebook to... I was... Yo, Facebook greened me first day it came out. I was like, oh Because they already God. knew your shit was going to go up. Exactly. <laughs> so they gave me the crown for like Thanos. Uh-huh. I was on it with like thousands of views. I was like That's going late. crazy. Yeah. I had that, but then I got off of Facebook, and then I was, like, invisible for, like, mad years. Okay, so what caused the pop-out? Like, what made you want to get back in the spotlight? Uh, I don't know. I was, like, graduating school. After I graduated high school, it was, like, 12th grade, and I was, like, for me, like, nah, I don't want to make an Instagram. Mm-hmm. And then I made Instagram mad late. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, like, a couple months after that, I decided to do music, and then it worked I had, like, 300 followers when I first started, like, making music. Okay. And now, look. Uh-huh. Here we are. You're everybody's favorite lady. Also, the song was going off, and the other one was Dior Drip. Okay. Going off? Going off has, like, a little, like, Jersey-type beat a little bit. Yeah. We'll listen after. But Dior Drip. That's Dior Drip was a bop. Yeah. yeah, that's a feature. They're my both, son, they both features, and I feel like you walked on both of them. Oh, you talking about on the fuck with a bar shit? No, that's not called going on. We gon' we gon' okay. listen after, but it's definitely go off. Yeah, I like a nigga that spend that back. <laughs> yeah, yes, you ate that. Yeah, those are two different type of songs. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so real quick, back to your project. Do you have a name for your project? No, <laughs> yes you do. You just don't want to give us the tea. Nah. <laughs> okay, and do you have um, an idea of when it's gonna come out? August. Oh, okay. So you're giving us something nice to like end out the summer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I you had mentioned you have like a silly fun personality on Ron Suno um, YouTube show, <laughs> and you know my whole thing was. Everybody goes on the shows for their reasons. And I feel like in any type of reality show, everybody gravitates to somebody for a different reason. I gravitated towards you because I feel like 
you were very much comfortable with yourself. You weren't doing too much. You were out in Miami, like, all right, fuck it, we done with this. I'm going to hit up the jeweler. I'm outside. Mm -hmm. I'm making my own links. I really, really like that for you. I feel like your personality definitely shined through in a situation like that. Thank you. But um, what was he like? How did you wind up on... For the love of Ron Suno. I grew up with Ron Suno. Okay. Like, as, a, as a kid, as a teenager, as very young. So, yeah, it was like um, a mutual somebody from mm-hmm. our team. And, like, they was like, yo, just put the on. And he was like, yeah, that's my son. And then I okay. just went. And how was that experience? It was fun. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to last that long because I wasn't willing to do what other girls would. But mm-hmm. I just knew it was going to be mad fun. And, like, I was just entertained by the... The it was a lot. That a whole was lot of like, Imagine like. just sitting back and really eating the popcorn and being like, yes. Like, I was just watching everything and just laughing. Like, mm-hmm. it, was, it was amazing. Shout out to Ron Suno, too. Or. Shout out to Ron Suno. Um, would you do anything like that again? Yeah, I would, and I would act the same way. Word. Niggas know why I go there. Like, right. you know I'm like, come on, like, let's be real. I mean, as you should. And I feel like it, it worked. Cause like I don't even make sense, was- though. Yeah, I like I said, that was how I even knew who you were in the first place. And I was like looking into you like, oh, okay, that's, that's fire. fire. That's fire. Um, so do you have friends? Like casual friends? Probably like two one or two. And I feel like me asking that probably sounded crazy, but it's a reality, you know, we're getting older, sometimes you start to see people for who they are. You start mm-hmm. to, you know, learn things a little bit. Um, have you had anybody that you maybe like fallen out with in the past circle back now that you lit again? Come on now. Yeah. My ex wanna but I'm come on like my ex everybody. Wanna fuck, but I'm off, that day. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm off that day. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Nah, yeah, facts. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and how do you approach that? You just don't respond or is it like bitch? Nah, nah, nah. Like I just be like, oh like Hey, like, for me, thank you, appreciate it. Because, you know, it comes with the, oh, uh, mm-hmm. oh, thank you, appreciate it. That's it. After I say thank you and appreciate it and you respond, that's up to you to think that you was going to get another response mm-hmm. after me already saying thank you. I'm good, love. <laughs> Enjoy. Appreciate you, man. Um, How do you handle, like, new relationships? Are you open to new friendships? How do you kind of, like, choose who you gravitate towards? It's weird. I don't even want to answer that question because I don't like it's mm. just like I don't know like it's I do want to make friends but it's just if it happens naturally like I'm not looking for it because you never know what people's intentions is and it's just like I feel that way I'm mad loyal you. I'm a Scorpio like mm-hmm. we really mad loyal and we really like we're like so serious about people that we care about and love and then mm-hmm. I be getting hurt when my friends do wish or anything like so I don't be looking for it. Like if it, if it comes, it comes. My mom is a Scorpio. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, we yeah we we done. Yeah, y'all are very loyal people. Yeah, and y'all stand on what y'all mean. And if you cross the Scorpio, you it's can't clipped. come back. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So what would you say is like ultimately what you're looking for out of this? Or do you have a goal in mind? Or are you just letting it rock and whatever it is? Yeah, nah. Like definitely longevity. I want to mm-hmm. like build my brand to be one of the biggest things. I want to have everything you could think of. I want to, like, deal... I want my name to be everywhere. Mm-hmm. Household name. You feel me? Branch off to do other things. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, like, take care of my family for the rest of my life. Live great. You know Period. What I'm Sooner or later, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to get old, and I'm not going to be able to perform and do that. I'm going to be having millions and millions and billions in my bank account. Yeah. And you already is getting started. I see the nails. First of all, I need me some. I'm gonna hit my right. Can you? You guys do the challenge because you definitely get favorite yeah. lady vibes, and yeah. I oh, definitely period. will give you. Period. You heard it here first, and, y'all. And then till next week, the time you have till the time. So. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that. Yes. Um, because I need me some new nails. Yes, yes, yes. yes um, yes. so when thinking about your journey so far, what's been like one of the highlights in your experience? Being around people, learn, meeting. I'm new gonna people. say Madison Square Garden. Shout out to A Boogie. Shout out I, to A I, Boogie, cause let's really talk about I it. I didn't even want to bring that up yet, but <clears throat> no, you should, cause that's Shout big. Shout out to A Boogie. That's that's probably the highlight of everything that I've ever my music career and and all in total. That experience yeah. was crazy. I got mad love that day, and I I was just like, wow. A Boogie really brought the whole city out, for real. And I, everyone was really out there. did your big one. How did it feel being... A lot of people that are established can't even say that they performed at Madison right. Square Garden. So, 
How did you feel on that stage? It was like unreal. It was unreal. I see mad flashlights. I was just like, what? Is this even real? It was unreal. That's all I could say. I was just like, what? This is just, just, I was just like, I was in my room. I'm not even about to think about this because this can't be real. Yeah. So let me just do what I do. Yeah. And think about it. And you later. did what you did. <laughs> And so, wait, did you find out beforehand or were you just there and it was like, we want you on stage? Oh, no, I found out beforehand. Probably like like three days before. Okay, who's the first person you told? Probably my manager. Yeah, man, okay, all right. My manager's manager, like, my, that's my friend. Shout out to your manager. <laughs> manager aside, like... I don't know, probably, um, like... My friend, one of my friends, Monica. I was like, my oh friend, my God, Monica. hey, look at this. Look at the <laughs> like, yo, but I said it so calm. Because, like, you know, sometimes when you tell people things, like, I don't really tell people things. Because you sometimes people don't really, like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, you don't get the reaction. So, it was like, mm-hmm. even when I did say it to my friend, like, yo, do you know? It was like, oh, where? He's bringing you. Like, it wasn't a, oh, my God. So, it was like, oh, wow. That's why I don't even. I don't know. Me and my friends, my friend could tell me that she just got her tire fixed. I'm like, oh, my God. Shout out to you Yeah, w, w friend W friend Yeah I need better friends I need better friends Period But shout out to the friends That you, that you <laughs> Shout out to your manager Cause you tell your manager Yeah, my manager first. be the one like Ah, okay let's, let's get into that though Let's get into your team So what does your team Look like right now? Strong Like the Hulk Uh <laughs> <laughs> Who is on your team specifically? <laughs> My team is very big. If I oh, really? Okay. Hear, it's just a lot of names. But, like, Fresher, mm-hmm. he's my manager. Slow, mm-hmm. Johnny Shipes. Right, and, you know, the Good Talk family in the school. For me, we outside. All How that. did you pick who you wanted to be on your team and who you signed to? How do you make those decisions? I really didn't pick. It really just came to me, like, naturally. Mm-hmm. And you feel me? It took, I just, for me, waited out a couple months, seeing what, you feel me, what the person could do for me, what, what, what's, what's going on around there. Mm-hmm. And then, you feel me? I went from there. I already knew, like, all right, bet. It's, it's pain, it's, it's pain getting put in here. Right. I picked it from there, and it just kept, the team kept growing from there. And you happy with your decision? 1,000%. How does it feel being signed, though? Because that's a big decision to make as an artist. You know, um, how does it, do you feel like it's beneficial to you? Yeah, right now yeah. it is. It's, it's not my first time, but, but, um. Oh, we know. But yeah, but, um, <laughs> right now, this uh-huh. one. Yeah. yeah. Now it's been, this did one you, is Was the there one. anything you learned from your last situation that you bought into this one to look out for? Yeah, like, this is. Like what? Like, so, like, you why? Don't, you no. don't have to get specific, it's but, so like. so much. Like, you okay. learn so much. You know what to read. You know what mm-hmm. to look into. You know numbers. You got to see numbers. You got to see, like, it's so much things that you have to see that I didn't know back then. Yeah. I was young and fucking whatever. You feel me? But now, hell yeah, I was, I'm in the best situation I could possibly ever be in. Great. I love that. Right. And you speak very highly of the people that are on your Yeah, team, I appreciate so. them. That's, sure. that's cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, what's the data in scene looking like for you? Like, what you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> Whose favorite lady are you? Like, what's Everybody's really favorite lady, like. Period. Just, okay, but like, who's... They, well, I don't Nobody. even want it. We don't got to get into like no, no I like really that, don't. If you want to know, I'm, I'm single. You single? Yes, I work my ass off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't want nobody in my personal space. I, I, my room is so clean. You know what I'm saying? I be having money stashed here, money I got to save. I don't want, I want to wake up sometimes. You know, I want to have business phone calls or wake up, smoke, and listen to me. I want to be by myself. Okay. And you just sometimes. I just don't want somebody laying next to me. And then I feel like if I don't want that every day, why I do it sometimes? It makes no sense. So I just stick to myself. That's yeah. an actual fact. You like working. I, you protecting yeah, like, your peace. No, that's an actual fact. Like, I feel you. So when you feel like you're going to be ready, just like, like whatever. I feel like nobody is loyal. Like, I, I, I made a video about this yeah, already. I already, did, I already did. I already did. I already, I already did this already. What's that word? Um, What's that word they made me say? Is there... Um, What's that? Damn, what's that word? What's that word, y'all? What's that monogamy? word? Monogamy. Monogamy. You okay. know what monogamy is? Do you mean like being polygamous? Monogamy is like being with one person. Polygamy is like when you're with multiple people. No, you're off. 
You mm. off like duck sauce. Girl, no, I'm not. Monogamy Mon- is one. Monogamy. Now we about to have to get into a lesson because I took Latin for four Monogamy years, girl. Monogamy is one person. Is the act of kindness. What? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I had to look off camera real quick. Like, is that what we what we really? I could have sworn that's what it meant. No, it means like when somebody like is with like one takes person. off their shirt. <laughs> Wait, chivalry? Oh yeah, chivalry. <laughs> it's because we was talking about dating. Oh yeah, chivalry. It's because we was talking about dating, so that's where yeah, yes. your mind was at. Chivalry, <laughs> chivalry is dead. Chivalry. <laughs> Chivalry is dead. It is dead, and that's why you couldn't so, even think of the word because yes, it doesn't exist. I'm here with you guys. So at that point, to answer your question, it's dead. Yeah, <laughs> super dead. It's super dead. Clearly, <laughs> clearly. Oh, what, like, do you have a type though? Do you go after any specific type? Nah, because I feel like I like. Like, you could be ugly. Mm. But you could just have a nice personality. I kind of like them ugly. Really? Yeah, like you know. You know, like, I don't want to name drop, but, like, you know, like, Beyonce and Jay-Z? hmm He not ugly, but, you know, she's just dumb fire. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want, I want that. I want my nigga to and be, you know, like, yeah, don't look at him. Sometimes when you have, like, an ugly or medium ugly nigga with a bad bitch... He like, like like he's that nigga. He gains points. He gains points, but he also gains points in the attractive scale sometimes. Look at Moneybag, yo, no shade. Bag was not it. Yeah, and now he's and now, he glowed like, up. He really like, looked, yeah, exactly. Like, it okay. make, Cause it makes you like, oh nah, my bitch bad. Like I gotta, you feel me? You gotta match her. Yeah, so you, it's just personality, how you treat me shiverly. Show me that <laughs> and baby. Yeah. Okay. I'm weak at myself because one of my questions is, so you spend a block, what's tea with I'm off that day? <laughs> Yeah, you already know. You know the answer to that, right? Yeah, I already know. It's no block spinning. No. So, no. I do want to play another game with you. It's called um, The Favorite Ladies' Favorites. Say that five times fast. Favorite, favorite Ladies' favorite Favorites. Favorite Lady Favorites. Favorite Lady Favorites. Favorite Lady Favorites. Favorite Lady Favorites. Oh, ah, you thought okay. I could do that. You ate me up on that one. <laughs> I'm Dominican. Um, so, I'm going to ask you some of your favorite things, and obviously, you just tell me what it is. Favorite celebrity link up? Nav. Favorite thing to order at the bar? Oh, strawberry margarita. Mm. Favorite bar of yours? Like, lyrically. Oh, my ex <laughs> want to fuck when I'm off that. Period. <laughs> um, favorite thing about being a lady? Oh, self-respect. Like, being that bitch. Favorite person to call when you have tea to spill? Your manager. My manager. <laughs> <laughs> I, Damn, know. I didn't know you were <laughs> Yo, tell me how. Um, yep. mm-hmm. um, favorite thing about New York? The vibes. You already know. Movie mm-hmm. theater. Mm-hmm. Unmatched. Favorite story to tell? Mm, I'm not really a storyteller. Like, I don't... Okay. <gasps> Favorite story to tell? When I went um, fucking, I, yo, skiing at mm. Mountain Creek. And, like, you feel me? I went to the highest mountain in, 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 in the world. If you look it up, it's in Mountain Creek. Okay. You heard? Mm-mm. So I went on it thinking I'm dumb nice. The ice was not snow. It was like icy, like so icy. And skiing is tough. And it took me three hours to get down there. The thing was closed. The police was down there because they thought I jumped off. I flew off the cliff. No. I was crying. Everyone was walking, driving past me. I mean, skiing past me. Excuse me. And they were just looking at me and laughing while skiing down. Worst experience of my life. Laughing I said at I was you was all laughing. good. While I'm crying, I'm literally crying, like crying. Not laughing at you was three really ugly. hours. I'm talking about shit. It was closed. It was like two in the morning. Police was looking for me. Movie theater. Never, theater. T- never skiing again. I like the way you say that. Never skiing again. Skiing, you had the two, like... The two, like... The two, like... Yeah, yeah. I, I never Thinking did I that. Was somebody. The most thing I did was snow tubing. I got on a lift. That sounds I don't fun. know. I'm a little... T- that... I don't want to say don't do it, hill. but do it in the indoors. I indoor. do it at, like, Big Snow in Jersey. That's the indoor. indoor yeah. yeah, see, do it like that. Yeah. That's a little practice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um... Favorite gift that somebody got you? That means y'all need to step up your gift game. It's like the little things that count. Like, it's just so much. I can say so much. I don't want to say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, because then the person going to know that it's their gift? Or just, you just being... Huh? You being secretive, or is it because you don't want to say the gift? No, I don't give a fuck if they know. know, But I'm just saying, like, it's just like... It's personal? It's just like, yeah. 
I don't that know. wasn't even what it was. But you okay. know what it really is. I'm trying to think about it, and then th- if I think about it, we about to be here for like five right. extra minutes. That's fine. That's fine. Um, favorite song by someone mm-hmm. other than you. I know I asked you like what yeah. you're listening to right now, but like if you think long, like all time fave. Um, what you say? Wake up, wake up. Gotta, gotta get, get this paper, paper, get this cake up. Yeah, for Ooh, sure. Oh, we love Janae. Did you see her when she was here? Yeah. No, oh. I didn't. I'm okay, lying. me either. I know. <laughs> Damn, why she you just at, say that so quick? She was at one of the clubs, right? She performed. She was at um Oh she, And then she went to one of the she went to a club that, that same night. She I think, probably too. did. Yeah, Janae but, be outside. People don't yeah. be knowing. Um favorite thing to do on a Saturday night? Um, like if I'm not like working at a club, like if I don't have a book in or some weird shit, like I'm dead home. Mm-hmm. Laying down she watching chill. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You watch like the YouTubers? Who you be watching? Everybody. You watch streams? Tyson, now. I watch though, yeah, the whole AMP. I watch Mr. Beast. I watch like mad people, mad people, mad people, mad people. Would you get into streaming? Yeah. Oh, I am by mad. the way, game done. Um, oh, <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't even know we were playing a game. Um, yes, you did. Oh, we, I oh, forgot we was playing a game. Okay, that's good. Um, so would you consider streaming? Yes, I am going to stream. Okay. Yes, I am. Soon? Yeah. What soon. kind of content do you feel like you would make? Video gaming, because I play games. You know, um, celebrity link up. You know you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. little fun shit like that. Vlogging, oh, a day with me, da-da-da, stuff like that. Are you cool with the streamers in New York? Because that's like a, a thing that's really popping off right now. To be, I'm cool with some of them, but I need to tap in more with like all yeah, of like them. Yeah, like the Zoe's, Tyler. Yeah, like I'm, 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 I know like Tyler on them and all of them, but like mm-hmm. I need to tap in with the Zoe's and I still haven't met Zoe. I think that would be good for you. Yeah. I can see that. We're going to tap into, she, she tapped into Favorite Lady, so I know it's coming. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So what else is coming? We know the project, we know the streaming now. Is there anything like out of the box that you would like to do? I know you got the nails. Yeah, anything? so much stuff. Y'all gonna see. <laughs> okay <laughs> TBD We just gonna keep throwing Yeah up. TBD Okay And is there anything else That you wanna touch on real quick That we didn't get to talk about Um I don't know I just wanna say like I was born with a raspy voice You get what I'm saying So it's like I feel like at a certain point You're gonna have to get used to it You feel me Before I leave here I just wanna say that Like I, You're just gonna have to get used to it People come when, when I wake up It might be a little bit more raspier but it's just who I am. And I feel like that's the only thing that I want to say before I leave here. Before I say I love all my fans and shit. Mm-hmm. People complain about your voice? It's a joke. It's a funny thing. But yeah. Because I see a lot of people in the comments saying like they like your voice. No, it'd be 50. I feel like it's 40%. I like your voice. 60%. Oh, my God. If my girlfriend sound like this, my God won't get hard like what really i feel like you sound and this is not to categorize a stereotype but you sound like a new york dominican i'm just saying you sound like i don't feel like you're raspy but like it doesn't it's not like a. it's not like a crazy yeah like, no i appreciate that but word before i get out of here i do want to say i love all my fans i love all my supporters shout out to new york city for showing me love Thank you, Talk of the Town, for having me. Thank you for we outside. I need y'all to keep tapping in because I'm about to drop mad shit, mad singles, mixtape, album after that. It's crazy. Movie theater. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Well, I appreciate you for coming. Thanks for having me. After that project drop, you got to come back so we can yes. debrief, see yes. how things are going. Yeah. Um, and until then, you know, thank you again. And You're we'll welcome. see you on the next time. Bye, y'all. Oh, shout out your social so that they know where to find oh, you. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Diani Dior, D-I-A-N-Y, D-I-O-R. And everything else is just like that. Diani Dior on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, everything else. So, yeah. Period. Bye.